Hi, I'm Susan, fitness from the pro. I bet you've seen one of these pieces of equipment in your gym and wonder, what the heck is that? Well, my friends, let me share with you. This is called the BOSU Balance Trainer. BOSU is an acronym, meaning both sides up. That means you can use both sides of this, the blue dome side or the black side. Either side is equally as challenging. So let's start off with using the blue side and I'll show you some exercises that you can do on both, on both sides of the BOSU. So when I get personal training clients, the first thing I do, the first session is I put them on a BOSU because I wanna know how their balance is. Then that will help me design their program later on uh, to determine whether I need to add some balance challenges or what their balance issues are to make it a little more challenging for them um, so that they can get better with their balance. The first thing is we'll just step on the BOSU. And go ahead, you can have a chair next to you. And when you're doing your bo stand standing BOSU exercises, I recommend that you have something close by, like a chair, so that you can grab onto it if you're feeling unstable in any way. So right now, we're just gonna stand on the blue side of the BOSU. What you do is you pull the belly button into the spine, those shoulders are just above your hips, and you focus on something still. Now I'm watching you right now. The other thing is, I do not want you to hold your breath. And that's what a lot of people do. They hold the belly button in and then they hold their breath and then that's not good for anybody, right? So we're just gonna stand here, calm things down. You may be a little shaky when you first get on the BOSU and that's okay because your brain is just trying to figure out what the heck is going on with your body and where it is in space. From here, we'll move on to trying some squats on the BOSU. Now, very challenging. You're gonna shift the weight to those heels, push those hips back, keep your chest lifted, and you're gonna stand up nice and tall. Good. Again, I want you to sit this on the side. My knees stay behind my toes. I'm keeping my chest lifted. My core is activated the entire time. This is our stuff on the BOSU. Those are some exercises that we did on the blue side. And there's a bunch of stuff that you can do, but these are just the basics. I'm gonna turn it around now, and the black side is gonna be up. And I'm gonna get my mat here. We're gonna continue with our legs on this. <clears throat> Have a seat, and I want your butt to be close to the BOSU, okay? Now, I will show you that you can do this exercise, these bridges on the blue side, okay? You're just pushing up here. But I think it's a little more challenging if you flip it over onto that black side. Now, <clears throat> our butt is close to the BOSU, hands are by your side. Your feet are about hip width apart. We're gonna do a bridge here. Make sure your, your chin is a fist distance from your chest. You're looking up. Shoulders are away from your ears. Right now I have a, a neutral spine I can put my hand through my low back. I'm gonna inhale here and prepare, pulling that belly button into the spine, activating my core. And as I exhale, I'm gonna do a little pelvic tilt, bringing those hip bones to the ribs and then push into my heels as I lift those hips up and then one vertebra at a time, resting on my shoulders, not my head and my, uh, my neck. Inhale here at the top, keep those abs in. And as you begin to exhale, you're gonna slowly lower one vertebra at a time until finally those hips come down to the ground. Inhale here and prepare. 
Exhale, little pelvic tilt, push into those heels on the BOSU. Now we've got instability here on that BOSU, right? So you gotta keep those abs in, those shoulders are away from your ears. Inhale here at the top, exhale, and again, we're gonna slowly lower one vertebra at a time. Notice I have my hands up, that's a progression. You can always just keep those hands right down by your side as you do your bridges, lowering one vertebra at a time, and then just go ahead and hug your knees in and just feel some love here. You probably felt it in your hamstrings and your butt cheeks. Now, go ahead and roll yourself up. And we're gonna stay on the black side. We can do some push-ups here using our BOSU. You can always start on your knees. Now when you're on your knees, please make sure that you're not just doing this, okay? The butt is sticking out. That's not really a good push-up. I want you to be on more of an incline or a decline. The toes are off the mat and you're holding on to the little handle that's here on the sides. Okay, just bend those elbows, exhale and push up. This is your easy, easier option. You can always kick that option up and make it a little more progressive. Legs are up, knees are off the ground. Again, push up. Keep that belly button pulled into the spine. And do as many repetitions, eight to 12 repetitions, uh, whatever works for you. So you can see it's not just an abdominal workout here with this BOSU. It can be a full body workout. Now we're gonna be moving on to what I like to call the airplane airplanes yeah, yeah, right okay so you can start on your knees again that core is engaged belly buttons pulled to the spine squeeze those butt cheeks the toes are off the mat we're going to slowly rotate to the right come back center rotate to the left come back center those shoulders we're just rocking side to side. And being on your knees is your easier option. Again, we're not doing this, okay? If you wanna kick it up a notch, extend those legs, maybe open up the legs a little bit wider than usual because I don't want your hips to twist. Again, we're gonna to rotate to the right, come back center, rotate left, center, right center left center good so right and left would count as one set put it back on the blue side and we'll finish up with some abdominal exercises and i want you to not sit on top of the ball but kind of sit near the bottom of the ball the butt is off the ground. And just go ahead and lean back into that. <clears throat> so the small of your back is into the BOSU. Now bring your hands behind your head or to your temples. You can always have one hand here so you don't strain your neck. Again, I want you to remember to keep that fist distance between your chin and chest. And we're just going to lean back Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Pull that belly button into the spine as you exhale and lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. So this is your basic crunch. Okay? Now we can add on to that and work those obliques. We'll bring that left shoulder toward that right knee and back down right shoulder toward the left knee and back down left to right right to left now if you want to kick it up a notch 
you're going to bring that left shoulder toward that right knee and bring that foot down okay that's your easier option if you're lifting the leg your more uh, challenging option would be extend the leg lower and we're still bringing that shoulder to the knee I'm switching now easy option bring that foot down right shoulder left knee right shoulder left knee challenge extend the leg of course the longer the lovers the more challenging right make sure those abdominals are engaged now we can add on here you're going to crunch and bring that knee in and lower stay with the knee it's just a straight up crunch and you can extend the leg and this will get the full range of those abs left leg crunch and you can keep it back down again you're not pulling on your head and your neck or you can lift and extend crunch and extend crunch and extend nice work now if you happen to be at the gym with a friend this is a really fun exercise go ahead and grab a medicine ball this is fun <clears throat> again we're going to put put our butt right where it was the low back is into the bosu your arms are up you're going to reach over and as you come up you're going to throw the ball at your friend your friend is going to catch it or try and catch it anyhow reach over and whip that ball i'll do it one more time and this time i'm going to throw the ball reach over and and you're really pulling that belly button into the spine and really forcing that ball which is a great thing to do for the abdominals and it's just another way to get more power and oomph, oomph into your workout. Once again, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you incorporate a little BOSU in your workouts and feel free to check out our other videos that we have on the LWCA Fitness YouTube channel and please subscribe just by clicking on that little LWCA circle at the bottom of the screen. Once again, I want to thank you. Please leave a message or a comment, like the video, and we'll see you next time.